Only 80 minutes separating the Catamounts from yet another NCAA tournament appearance, but in March, you can feel a whole lot longer than that. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Noah Searson. Vermont taking the court tonight in the America East semifinals, but Binghamton played them tough in Burlington in their last matchup with the Bearcats fighting for their season as well. Near sellout tonight at Patrick Gymnasium, Finn Sullivan Player of the Year. Drawing Binghamton's Jacob Falco tonight. Tough matchup, but it was Dylan Penn cruising early. We've seen him go down low this year, but look at him from distance as well. Finding the bottom of the net from behind the three-point arc. And then look at this ball movement. Fiorillo to Penn once again. He had four three-pointers, 20 points in the first half. And they keep pouring it on in the second. This time Cam Gibson going on a little bit of an 11-0 run himself to start the second half. And that's how things would go for UVM. Vermont rolling 79-57 with fifth year Dylan Penn leading the way with 25 crediting veteran leadership for UVM's extra boost post game. It's my fifth year. Guys have always played my drive. And you know, today I felt like they were definitely over helping when guys like Robin were you know, attacking in the mid post or off the drive and they were giving me opportunities to step into clean looks. And, you know, I hit one early. I felt good. I felt like I was in rhythm. The older guys in the locker room, this is their last chance. They played with the desperation of um, guys that didn't want their NCAA hopes to, to end tonight. And that is. So Saturday's matchup is set. Vermont hosting UMass Lowell in the America East Championship. That one at 11 a.m. Two very evenly matched squads that split the regular season series.